I can't even full screen. Uh, uh. That's true. The game has no full screen option. Oh, well. Can you move it a um, little bit to the right? Absolutely. Why? Because my capture area isn't the whole window, because that'd be too much. No, no, that's left. No, it's not. Oh. No, no, a little more left. You went too far. Uh, A little more. No, just a little more. <laughs> okay, like like 50 pixels more. Yeah, okay, that's good enough. Awesome, awesome. Okay, good. We can cut all that out of the video, probably. Or we can leave it in. It'll be hilarious. I'm going to start a new game. Okay. Wait, why can't I continue a game? I totally haven't played a game before. You might. You probably have. <gasps> it won't load. But how do I go back? Good, okay, good. Version. Wait, so right. first let's talk. Hi. Wait, 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 hold on. There's plot. There's plot. Okay, so, I, I don't know, I'm just going to introduce myself like I do for all my little videos. So, hey, it's Ben. Uh, ben makes games, I guess, with another demo from Mysterious Space, kind of, but this time I'm with my friend Steven, who lives all the way in Washington, and works for Amazon making games, and he has not played... Well, you've played before, right? Kind of, like, a long, long time ago, and for like 10 minutes, I... Yeah. Good. So we're going to we're gonna do a Let's Play of Mysterious Space, because I'm told that everyone who makes games should also do Let's Plays of their games, so... So we're gonna do it. It's gonna be great. I'm, and you. I don't know. I, what What are we trying to survive? It doesn't tell you. It's very ambiguous. That's very mysterious. Do things out here in space. Fine, fine. Thank you. Um, my ship name is the not Telkoth. Wait, 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 wait. Oh god, now I'm on video, not spelling things right. But they don't know. They don't know what your name is. That's true. Um, Telkoth is a name I used to use. Oh my god, life. that's a lot of letters. <laughs> Nick, nah. Yeah, you can press tab if you want a different story. That's undocumented. Oh, well, that's fine. Right now. Oh, good, you have the uh, tutorial and everything. I, I, feel, I feel fine. <laughs> this is delightful. No, no, it's fine. Um, yep. Woo! So good at moving. So mysterious. Yes. I'll be curious to see how you react to this tutorial because I, I changed it recently because of problems I noticed. Uh, I am no longer pressing shift. Is that true? Yes. Oh, that's exciting. Well, then I messed something up. I mean, I guess now I just shoot forever and that's kind of good yeah that's fine but you're not practicing shooting because you're not pressing shift so look you found a broken bug in my game oh, wait but I can, I can still press shift yeah in fact you have to to finish practice shooting so this is going to be hilarious i wonder if this is a bug that i've introduced in the game where while you play it's we'll see what happens also because steven designs games professionally i'm hoping he'll have wonderful ideas i don't know about that Depends on whether or not I can get my ship to stop fire. <laughs> uh, sure. You can. They look so similar, but you get to choose. <laughs> yes, I am. I am distressed that my initial choice in the game is, in fact, not a choice at all. Yeah, that seems fair. Oh, is that is that a random thing? Yeah, it's randomly. Yeah, you should make sure that at least the first choice, and probably all the choices can. Ah. Ooh. So you no longer shoot uh, forever, right? Yes. Why the the your theme is confusing me? What with the the why am I underground in Texas? <laughs> uh I don't know, you went to a planet. Uh I would desperately do, oh, I guess I can use this shift. Okay, fine. Yeah, you can use any shift you want. It's great. It's a Whoa. little bit waggy the video unfortunately, but I thought something like that might happen. It's cool. It's good enough. You get the idea. Is there any point to me killing things? I guess the point to me killing things is they don't kill me back. Fine. Uh, I don't have any things I should say, so I won't. These guys, I don't know how I feel about them. Um, <laughs> I know. Everyone says they look cool, but I feel like they're very ineffective. Well, if I had some sort of like, if I had an option for any sort of like AOE attack, then they would be totally hot. But I don't, and so like, I have to shoot them all. Yeah, that's true. You don't Except I don't actually have to shoot any of them, so now the game is teaching me, hey, anytime there's an enemy that you don't especially enjoy engaging, like, that's cool, just don't play it. And I'm like, well, okay, but I'd rather I'd rather fight and kill. It's a game about fighting and killing. I want to fight and kill things and not just be like, man, this is... Uh, the other guys, yeah, like, I learned how to explode. I think I feel like there's two guys that look very similar, and I need to learn the difference between them. Like, there's this guy, I think he explodes. 
Ah, what the what the Jesus? Um, that's probably fine. Yeah, no, okay. Wait, did these guys explode when I killed them? And also, what is that? I can't. <laughs> yeah, so I figured that was like a pickup, but it's a little ambiguous about. It is, it is ambiguous. I don't know how to make that clear. So, uh, how would you make a pickup clear? It, I, I was hoping that you had a distinct visual language, like I don't, I don't know, like some icon that indicates that the thing is basically UI and not hmm. something you actually have to engage. Maybe some sort. Uh, of, I uh, mean, would an arrow pointing at it, look like, hey, I don't know, or that just me, indicate to you that it's a target? I don't know. No, oh jeez, I don't even know if those are dangerous. I don't want to deal with them. <laughs> Why can't those look like things I should be able to blow up for fun and profit? Oh no, so because they're boxes. Do you know what you do in in games, when you find boxes, you totally break them. Okay. And like hearts and stuff fall out. It's great. They are spiky walls, and I made them. Ooh! So I didn't realize that I get things for murdering things. Now these little gnat guys. Well, now I have to ah bananas. Um, <laughs> also, I have no idea. Oh, I guess that's armor. I guess little little gray boxes are health. Can I go up? <gasps> I'm in space. Wait, I'm not supposed to go into space. Right. So it's mysterious space, but the game doesn't take place in space. Space is like return to menu, I guess, because she said something about how I shouldn't return to space until I gather all the fuel, which I don't really understand where the fuel is. Like, I'm going to keep going through caves and stuff, but the cave system is not very extensive. It seems like it's little it's little hops yeah, down to the planet. That mostly um, happens. Sometimes they loop around, but that's true. Mostly they're little individual things to explore. And I, I believe you've gone in a circle. This looks familiar, so you may have just missed the fuel in a terrible fight. The the planets go in a circle, which I don't know how anyone. You, I guess you'd find out by playing. Uh, if you had some sort of marker that said this is where the level began, like, and that also, I don't, I'm thinking of like you know Metroid games do that too, where they're like, you know, this is the place where your ship is, and it's super iconic, and you can remember that it's here. Oh my God! So now I have to find fuel. <gasps> Did I just hurt? Oh God. Oh, now my life is better. So I was, I was. Being very sad that uh, I couldn't like strafe backwards, except I totally can if I hold down the fire button. You can. <gasps> that guy was hiding in terrain that I can't go into. That made me a little bit full of anger. What? <laughs> Many of the enemies. Oh, on there! It looks like that's the exciting place. <laughs> ah! Ah! You know, Many of the enemies can just go through walls. Sure. It was the easiest way to do pathfinding. That is to say, not pathfinding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no pathfinding is great pathfinding. Ah. I never feel particularly concerned. Also, this is a cool effect. I like that a lot. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Um, ah. Eh. Also, when you killed enemies before, they totally dropped stuff, and you were like, I don't know the point of killing enemies, and I didn't want to say anything, but they had totally dropped things, but you probably saw ah, this. What the? What? And I can't, ah, ah. <laughs> cool, I'm going to try that again. Um, <laughs> Delightful. So I have debated whether or not there should be a mini map. The planets aren't that big. So so regardless of whether I have a choice here or not, I I need some information about what the hell these things are. Like, if this was not uh, such an abstract art style, and one of them was like watery, and one of them looked jungly, then I'd be like, oh okay, now I feel like I can sort of make a choice. But like, the difference between Blue and dark blue. teal well, and dark. Teal. So they're both blue because they're both ocean worlds, but they have slightly different color palettes. Whereas the like different browns are deserts or different whatever. So they just have. Different, but uh, it's true. I, so uh, yeah, I should probably make sure that the first choice is always a choice. That would be nice. Um, and you know, it would be fair while while you're selecting a planet for it to pop up like this is a class whatever planet blah 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 and give you some yeah yeah that's true. Well, this is good. I'll take notes. I'll take notes. On the back of this vet checkup paper report from the cat. That's not what I'll find. Well, I need paper. I win. You win? Or were you fighting? Yeah, I, got, I got three fuel. Okay. Now I'm going to try and go back into space. Good. Mysterious space. Get out of here. Planet. I'm going. Thanks, Blinky Arrow. Well, you know, some people. Ah! Ben, <laughs> I know that's another that I'm doing good, and then lock out my controls, <laughs> and then smack me in the ass. I know. No, you're supposed to be invulnerable when the uh, 
that thing happens. Um, sure, I I don't actually think invulnerability is like super bad. Like I I would just I would just lock all the enemy AI. Sure. Okay. Because like the fact that it doesn't hit me when it hits me is like, I I would be much more happy with just I if things are coming towards me, I should be able to control my ship. That's how right, I feel. Right. That's fair. Is there additional enemy variety coming up in my future? Yeah, there is. Okay. I don't have as many as I would like, but it adds a new enemy every depth into the sector, every sector number. You know, you're on, what, the, the second one. So there, there will be a new enemy somewhere around. So, ooh. Are you a mind-laying evil thing? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. No. <gasps> you retreated into the forever. Ah. It's true. Usually they turn toward you, but sometimes they don't, just because I wanted to be... Obnoxious. <laughs> yeah. Just take that one in the face. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> the interaction between shield, armor, and hull doesn't seem extra. Like, I keep picking up little squares that are apparently, like, helpful squares. Yeah. But I'm not sure on what those are. That's true. You've never looked at your inventory. There's, like, a reminder on them, and she, and she tells a... you to do it during the tutorial. I don't know how There's to make a... it more clear. Oh, God. An inventory, you say? Yeah, press escape now. You might as well. Things are looking dire. Escape? Wow, you survived. That's delightful. Pretty good video games. Oh, balls! <laughs> that was good timing. <laughs> wow, this is pretty mean. There's a lot more guys on screen than... uh. Whatever. Good video games. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, cool. Press escape when you're on the, uh, the sector map. It's better anyway. <laughs> There's so many things. What's that other weapon you have? I see it. What? Ah. Oh, oh, what did that shield say? That other shield said exciting things. When this armor takes damage, your shield regeneration rate is double for three seconds. Okay. There are also weapons that have area of effect uh, effects, so... You, but you don't start with them, so I don't know. Maybe uh, that means it's come later. I, how do I? I don't. I don't know how to switch between categories in this menu. Like I expect to hit up and to switch to like controlling inventory upgrades. Save quit. Yeah, no. Someone else had this problem. Yeah. Okay. There. Yeah. The the upper left is trying to tell Ooh, you. Ooh, that that's why I care about little computer chips. Yeah. Oh, cool. So many things. So. This game is very arcadey. I don't expect to back out to an inventory screen while I'm playing. Like, which isn't to say that it's a bad thing to do, but it is not expected. Um, sure. Like, I expected that I was picking up little gray squares and that they were, like, refilling my armor or something. Right, right, right. Um, I, I think that these sorts of upgrades are super cool, but instead of giving people, like, the option to interact with them through some mysterious ha <laughs> ha um, <laughs> menu thing, I would, I would just during sector selection, kick them back out to it. Oh, like immediately be like, check out your inventory? Yeah. Okay. That seems fair. I mean, I don't know if that's the best choice, but... I mean, every if you... Oh my god, my hull's taking damage. I don't know how to fix it. I thought... Is this strictly better than my other weapon? Probably. Okay. I mean, it does make a cool noise. What are you? I want to find out... Ah! <laughs> After leaving... So, wh yeah. wait, wait. But now I'm under the impression that those gray things are like crates that put things in my inventory? That's the correct impression. Okay. I wish that there was some part of the UI that would tell me what the hell I picked up. Sure. You... Also, in the UI, I'm so I'm unclear... Ah, what did that do? Oh! Bananas. Sure. <laughs> so, wait, what, what, what were you saying? Uh, it's, chip. it's a computer chip. It's true. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, get away from me. Get away. Ah. These things are weird, Ben. What things? The the barriers? Because I was pretty sure that one of them, like, freaked. Like, when I died, I thought the thing just, like, rapid fired me a bunch. No, I mean, they, they flash on and on at a constant rate, but you were, like, hanging out on one, being like, what is this? What is this? And then it turned yeah. on while you were dancing <laughs> i was not dancing that's 
I feel like the up down motion doesn't fit the style of game particularly well. That's how I feel. It would only be left like, right. Like going down to explore and then coming back up and stop it. I think so. This was initially also, made. This is confusing. Yeah, fair enough. Um, the the game was made for a seven day roguelike competition, and I yes. yeah yeah yeah. And one of the things I realized I was really missing out on was the exploration of the dungeons. And so it used to just be side scrolling left and right. That's it, and you went in a fixed clip like a normal arcade shooter. And I was like, no, we need to explore. That's that's more fun. Um, I don't know. Uh, but you feel it's awkward to be moving up and down. You certainly see less up and down, which makes it dangerous. And well, it's just I don't know. I'm not I'm not super enjoying the exploration aspects of it. Hmm. I mean, because there's no there's no map to track my progress. I don't have a clear sense of where I'm going. Nothing really seems to like lead to anything else. So I'm mostly just like, is there anything in this hole? Nope. Is there anything in this hole? Nope. Sure. Uh... I mean, so, okay. Well, so something I've thought about adding, and, and may, I don't know if this would make it more interesting or less, is like, you know, keys and doors so that you have to find more shit. I don't know if that makes it more frustrating to go dipping into all the things or... Um... I don't know. Um... Yeah. Where am I going? Um... No, don't make noises at me. Yeah. <gasps> I was at full health. Did you have no shields somehow? That doesn't seem like that. I was just flying around on my own. You were. Did you equip a new shield? No. Okay. There's a there's a funny so shield that like super resists bullet damage but doesn't resist any collision damage, which is hilarious. But uh, if you didn't equip a thing, then I guess that didn't happen. Yeah, well, so I used a blue thing at one point that said, you don't know what this is. And I was like, well, that seems fine. <gasps> Maybe it disabled your shields. They don't tell you, which is a problem you might have. <laughs> uh -huh. I bet that's what happened. Because it didn't look, well, I don't know. It's hard to say now. I was going to say you didn't have shields, but that's because you were dead. So you definitely didn't have shields. So, tiny, oh my god, I thought that was the floor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ambiguous. Yeah. Uh, you figured it out. I wish that the upgrades, like the these things, uh -huh. were things that I picked up, and that when guys died, they just give me back like health or some sort of temporary thing relating to combat. Um, because back before I knew what these things were, I was like, okay, well, there's enemies, and they don't like some of them are in my way, and some of them sort of aren't, and particularly with like these these gnat swarms, mm -hmm. I was like, well, I don't want to deal with them. And you know what? That's that's just fine, because I can just fly past them. But now I'm like, wait, 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 no. If I want to do better at this game, especially in a roguelike, I should probably stop and kill everything in my path. <laughs> and that's... Like, they aren't... Like, the enemies right now are engaging enough that, like, as obstacles are fine, but it's, like, things that I'm going to, like, hunt and kill. Not, like, I don't want to hunt these things down. But, like... Hmm. Ah! I mean, so currently the game just generates enemies off-screen forever. You're never going to run out of them. Um, so is the reason why I don't just sit here and kill a billion things and get a billion upgrades? Uh, kind of. It doesn't tell you. Uh, the more enemies, the more up, the more pickups you get, the less likely there are to be future pickups. I don't know if that's just mean because it's never stated. <laughs> you would just get fewer and fewer. Well, regardless, it it puts me in a situation where. If I if I if I cared a lot about this game and I was like I want to beat this game and I was shitty at it and just couldn't do it, mm -hmm. then now I've got this weird choice where I'm like oh well I know how I could be better at it and the answer is like I go to the first level and I just hang out not having fun like <laughs> murdering stuff as it comes onto the side of the screen until sure I have enough things that I feel like I can get through the next. Right. The inventory you get will be lame, but the potions, the alien artifacts, you know, those yeah. are always good to get. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, lame because it's the first level? Yeah, yeah. The, the equipment gets better as you go further in. So I just ran into a quarter with, like, four guys, and that was more exciting than other things that I have done. <laughs> I think the game in general needs a little bit more pressure. Hmm, hmm. This is, this, is, this is a lackadaisical scroll, and then sometimes I explode. Yeah, I don't know. How, I've, ah. I've, whoa. I've had trouble balancing that because if 
if too many things come on the screen, well, I mean, I. Yeah. For one thing, there's no cap on the number of things that can come on the screen, so that's kind of bad because an infinite number could be on the screen. Balls. Um. But it is tricksy. I don't know. I mean, what would you what would you say to do? I mean, is more enemies the right choice, or is that just going to make it insane all the time? Uh, it might make it insane all the time. Ooh, I'm going to be better at the game now. I have changed my control scheme. Okay. The uh the enemies also start to come on. It's a it's a gradual thing, but the enemies come on the screen faster in later levels. Um, sure. No, that makes sense. And maybe I'm just not getting there. Uh, but I will this time, Ben. I'm going to be so fast. Okay. I wish I had a thing that made my ship faster so I could try and get that and then be like, done with this level. Pshew! Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> Cat is growing on spikes. But but I want to go through there and I can't. And now I worry that there's like a thing down there that I need. I, I'm confused. It's cool. There's always a path. Whoa, this is a crazy... Uh... <laughs> Ah. It's created a mess. Ooh, num nums. Was that all the fuel in one place? Yep. Okay. Random number generators. I do have a minimum distance between two fuel, but sometimes that's not. I don't know. Whoa, why is my shield white now? Different shield. <laughs> well, but I. Oh, you just randomly start with different stuff? Well, it's always the same equipment, but the colors are random. Did you notice that your bullets look different too? Uh, yeah, but I thought that maybe I had just gone insane. No, it, I mean, it's the same stats, but it just has a different bullet. Wait, I used the potion and it didn't tell me at all what it did? It's true. They don't tell you a goddamn thing. That's ben, a known issue, and ben. I keep not fixing it, and I don't know why. Maybe I should do that sooner rather than later. You should, you should fix it. Yeah. Like, not knowing what it's going to... Like, all of the excitement of them is you don't know what they're going to do. And, and then, then you use play. it, and then... Right. <laughs> I have concerns about that. That's fair. No, no, good. I mean, see, it, it is good, because, I mean, these are things that, like, some of these things I don't know, and some of them I know, but I've become so used to them that I stopped thinking about it. Yeah. And that's the danger of making games and not having feedback, which is why this is delightful. And this is why I keep telling uh, the vice president at work that we need more user testing, but he, he's just not for it. He drives me crazy. <laughs> uh, I'm about to die. What did I get? Got a bullet, a gun. Oh wow, you are about to die. I can't honestly tell if your hole is full or empty. Well, it must be full. Your hole cannot be empty because you would be dead. Oh wait, now I've got. To... What? I can't. I can't use my gun because I'm on a planet. Yeah, it doesn't let you change equipment. Does that seem like bullshit? Should I just let you change them? Well, it's weird that like I've got this one inventory, and. Like, I go to my inventory whenever I want, but, like, there's some things I can use in some places, and... Right. I mean, like, not the only restriction is not refitting your ship on a planet, because that seemed... I don't know. There's no... I, the only reason was, like, a realistic reason, which is bullshit, because it's not really... You know, it's like, you can't just... No. <laughs> realistic reasons. No. No. I'm playing a game. I got a super bonus. You should let me use it. Okay. Especially because the likelihood of me surviving to get to the next level is, you know... Tenuous. <laughs> sure. Like it's it's terrible to be like, man, I'm almost losing this level. I really need some help. Oh, good, I get all these upgrades. No, cannot use. I mean, on one hand, uh, no, that's fine. And if that makes the game easier, then we make the game harder in other ways. Ha ha ha! Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. I mean, what, what matters is if it feels good. And yeah, if it feels lame to be like, I got a cool thing, but now I can't use it. Well, I, I, I don't know. I mean, there's also a world in which you just message like, hey. So, so I think that, um, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> ah, Aww. um, I think if the messaging was, different, so I think if you broke the consumables out from the upgrades, then it'd be fine to be like, Hey, you pick up all this stuff. Like, I think, I think they'd have to be entirely different. I think like when I pick them up, there would have to be two boxes. There's like the consumable box and the upgrade box and the consumable box puts things in your inventory that you see immediately and you use with hotkeys or something. And the upgradable thing, like, if I can only upgrade off the planet, mm -hmm. then it's fine that I don't know what I'm getting because it's just sort of like... Oh, so like, it's, just, it's like, oh, it's a mysterious box you'll have to open it or something? Yeah, it'd just be like collecting treasure chests and then you beat the level and it's like, here's all the stuff you got. And you're like, yeah! And during the game, you're not frustrated because that you can't equip it because you, you have no it is. it is. 
Okay, and that's even more of a reason to pop up the inventory at the end of the planet, because, like, end of planet, here's all the cool yep. stuff you got. Here's your inventory yep. screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. I picked up that stuff. I'm excited about this next level. I've got 15 plus devs. Okay. No, I really like that. Um... Oh, my God. I'm bad at your game, though. <laughs> I've got, like, level two. I don't feel like I'm testing a whole lot of it. Ah. Well, that's fine. Do the, do the fuel colors mean anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why are they colored? <laughs> uh, just to, so they're not all white and boring. Why does it bother you that they're colored? But it, it uh, I don't know. It, it's like color is a differentiator. I want to know what they do. Ah. <laughs> uh. Spiky walls. Also, is the level ah. the the deeper levels, if you want to call them deeper. I always think of it as a dungeon because of roguelike. But the so the deeper levels have more spike walls than than earlier levels. Although this is plenty of spike walls. Yeah, and those are just terrain that I take damage if I run into it. Right, right, right. Yeah, but these ah ah. It's true. Take that ah. <laughs> you took it. So weapon and armor pickups. Are I don't know. Yeah, they'll be they'll be in boxes. You, you think they should be on like a different row or something? Uh -huh. like the same as items. Sorry, sorry. I think they should be where. Uh, you, you want the the items should be like in a separate list than the the. the I think so. The artifacts, right? To really differentiate. Yeah, I mean, and certainly there's no point if you're in the middle of a level and want to use an, an alien artifact, you don't have to go scrolling through all the boxes you can't use. Yeah. So it's at least friendly. You. <sighs> God, I'm bad at this game. Not again. What level was that? One. Oh, like zero. <laughs> Eighty. It starts. Also, I don't. I don't remotely care about the color of the circle that I click on. I know. There's no real. The differences are, are non-existent. When I have more enemies, I have too few enemy types. When I have more, then I'll have different enemies based on you know you'll have forest type enemies, whatever that would mean for the forest world. But I just I only have like five enemies right now. There aren't enough. I wish the mechanics sh shifted. The mechanics. Like I wish that. Like, if it's a different planet, I feel like things should work more differently than just, like, different guys trying to kill me. Sure. Um, I mean, okay. I mean, the level... Or, or if I got, like, you know, forest-themed upgrades. Right, right, right. No, that's true. That would be cool and easy-ish to do. It'd be funny, even if it was, like, because the color of your bullets, for example, that's just random based on the weapon, but it'd be funny if, like, Forest World's always got green bullets or something. Yeah, sure. <laughs> something like that. Throw little leaves at people. It's mysterious space. It it is. Um, sorry, our pickups are chasing this bullet. It'll go away eventually. Take that, Nats. Oh my god. <laughs> Stupid Nats. What will it do? Who knows? Do you have a super shield? You do. Blinking. It is. Whoa! Oh, is your gun really fast? It was for a while. I, I had no idea whether my timer was based on time or if my timer was based on shots. And so now I'm left wondering if I just completely wasted it by shooting a lot. Oh. Which is sad since the entire point of the upgrade is shoot a lot. Right, that's true. If only you oh could see God. the description after using it the first time. <laughs> I'm going to die again. Huh? I'm going to die again. Oh. Got, like, no hole. No, your hole is full. If it was what? Empty, if your hole was empty, you'd be dead. It's a gray hole. <laughs> Isn't that delightful how ambiguous that oh, is? Oh, so you mean the full color on my hull is the opposite of how it works on my shield and armor? <laughs> By virtue of ben. random color palette. Ben. <laughs> Sometimes randomness is not the answer. That's true. Or we just need a, a tighter ran. We need some control on that randomness. Is there a difference between armor and hull? Somewhat. Armor. I mean, you've equipped new armor web items. Um, I mean, so sure. I mean, I, I might as well. So for, I mean, first you take shield damage, then you take armor damage, then you take hull damage. If, if does, one is out. I mean, so does armor damage ever replenish? Um. Usually you equip a new armor, and new armors are meant to be not horribly uncommon. Otherwise, it's about... Um, there's some alien artifacts that replenish your hull as well as your armor, as well as your shields. 
That feels. I mean, I feel like they're the same thing. They're just divided into two arbitrary buckets for no reason. Yeah, I mean, there's different things interact with them differently. I mean, the are um, why is there more hull? I don't know. You can upgrade your hull with upgrade points, but armor you pick up. I don't know. There's weird little mechanical differences. It's pretty arbitrary. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. Yeah, that's not very nice. Oh, the, the, there were two ways in, but you just didn't... I don't know, it'd be hard to know. And you were saying, oh, so you were talking about not having a sense of progress through the levels. I mean, is a mini-map... I've, I've debated on whether or not to add a mini-map. Maybe I just should. I don't know. Oh my god, does my armor not, or does my hull not replenish between levels? No, only your shield do. <laughs> um... Then, yes. Now I just I want to use it to get it out of my inventory. There's no way to just dip this item. That's point. Oh wait. Look at the instructions. <laughs> Whatever. You look at the instructions. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna die. So yeah. uh, it is. It is traditional in roguelikes that some potions are bad and some are good, and that's why you don't know what colors do what. Yep. But it is kind of bullshit to pick up. In here. I don't know. I mean, does that does that just feel too gross, or do I leave it in? Ah! Oh goodness. I do feel like I'd be doing better at this game if I wasn't also talking about it. So, let all your viewers be aware. I'm I'm still pretty good at video games. Okay. <laughs> That's true. These drive me crazy, Ben. They drive me out of my mind. <laughs> like for two reasons. I should be able to go to the bottom of the screen, and if there's a hole, I should be able to go through it. Also, it was, yeah, ah. you, were, you were dancing again, and now there's things. What? Yay, escape. Don't tell me not to dance. <laughs> so I'm learning that fuel is mostly found on the bottom. So I'm mostly just like hugging the bottom and... Yeah. Ah, stop it. It's true. Yeah, I stole your organs. How many... I mean, so should things like that be told to the player? Or, or, or is it fine to what? let them discover these things? What? 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 Like that fuel is usually hidden on the bottom. Oh, that's fine. Okay. I mean, there are other facts similar to that that I don't think you've noticed that but that's fine but <laughs> maybe it's fine oh you died but i have like full shields was your hole actually empty one more time all right is that how long have we been recording now i don't know no oh, wait what the balls what happened i started the level and some guy flew up and smacked me in my butt <laughs> maybe the initial cooldown i should ensure for enemy spawn is uh not zero. Maybe. Or they don't just, like, track you up into space and tell you better the atmosphere. These guys are very aggressive, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I have I'll a just increase uh, enemy spawn cooldown, like, when you first enter the level. It'll be fine. Get away from me. Get away! Da -da -da -da. Uh oh Hey, I lost a lot of armor there. Stop it! <laughs> ah. <laughs> My pen is not working well, so I'm not able to finish writing, which means I can't watch you play. Suck out. Wait, what? I'm trying to watch you play, but this pen is refusing to write words. Why do you need a pen to write words? Oh, God. You know notes. Ooh, that was a little laggy. All right, um, well, for me. <laughs> Maybe maybe pens just hate writing on this surface. Oh. Okay. What'd you find? You said oh. Uh I think that repairs armor. And some new armor, but I can't use the new armor because I'm on a stupid planet it's true. that hates armor. It does hate armor. I've also never bought an upgrade, but that's probably because I am talking and dying constantly. Oh. Ah! Ah! Stop it! Stop it! No. <laughs> you survive. You barely took any damage at all. See, this time your hole is orange, so there's no ambiguity. It was just that gray, that gray hole that, that was throwing you off. Oh man, I'm sure glad that my experience is much better through random chance, Ben. <laughs> If only there was someone who could craft these experiences so they'd be consistently good. That's true. 
you need someone like that. I do like the movement on these guys. The swarms? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's hilarious. It's it's a I was experimenting with flocking things. I ended up doing something a little different. Um, ah. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Yeah, those guys are jerks. Colliding with yeah, colliding with things is usually really bad. Uh, to the skies. To the skies. Oh, you should. Did you get an upgrade thing? Are you gonna upgrade your ship? Maybe. Pretend it took you here immediately. What about the upgrade tab? Like, did you collect any of those upgrade computer chip things? Yes. Oh, cool. Oh, points, because I should care about that, because it's a roguelike. How strange. Yeah. Nah, that's fine. Crimson Land does that. What? You don't have to deal with the mystery anymore. <laughs> you don't like. So many delightful options to consider. Which it's one true. Do you go for? Stopping speed? Yeah. Yeah, I like that too. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> that happens to me, not rarely. Yeah, I took a note. It'll be fixed. Oh, also, I forgot a note about um, firing during the tutorial is hilarious. Which I'm really surprised that that's only true during the tutorial because firing, I don't know how that can be. Ben, I would much rather go faster than stop faster. Like, I worry that being able to stop faster is actually giving me less fun. Like, the movement feels weirder. Hmm. Which I think would be fine if I could also move a little bit faster. But because it's, like, because it's stopping power, like, my... My overall movement is now less. No, your total movement speed, I made very sure. I, I yes, measured it. But, but like, I don't know. It doesn't feel more responsive without a little bit more speed. It just feels almost like less polished. Nah. Hmm. No, don't. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I want it. I'm not entirely sure why I want it, but I want it. You can upgrade your I want ship. that, too. Also, don't I have an armory thing? Yeah. Ah. I guess another reason to kill enemies is so that they stop following you. Although, if you go far enough, they will, you know, they unspawn or something. But ah. Yeah, you've got you've got all sorts of dudes following you right now. Oh, they're full of items. I'm glad you discovered the uh, strafing while shooting versus... Me. Yes! Yep. It makes my life 30%. Ah! <laughs> I want to go faster through the skies and the water. I worry that being able to go faster will actually increase your deaths. <laughs> because... Absolutely! <laughs> but, okay. Doesn't make me not want to do it. Sure, that's I, fair. I collected one fuel thing. And this worthless planet that I would just destroy if I had the chance. It's horrible indigenous life. Yeah. What, what are they even doing here? It's a good right? Question. It's like the jerk planet of jerks. <laughs> that Those guys are the worst. The ones that explode when you shoot them? Well, oh. yeah, they follow you and they deal a bajillion damage. Oh, you mean these guys that leave trails? No, no, no. I mean the, the red guys. Okay, yeah. These guys are fine. We're friends. <laughs> okay, okay. Those guys. Yeah, yeah. They explode when you shoot them, yeah. That's true. They're they also do just apparently a bajillion damage when they run into you. Right. Current uh I don't know if I'm unhappy with that fact, but uh something oh, I am no. unhappy with is that the damage that things deal to each other when they collide is based on their total armor and hole and things. Um which I don't know. Very good, you found another one. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> too bad. What level are you on now? You're, you've gotten further, right? Yeah, I'm on two. Okay. 
Like a, like a pro? Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh my god, it's going to take forever to deal with this. I don't know, um... I don't, I don't know. You know, it's fine, it's fine. Nothing. Nothing's good. This needs, like, a sweet 8-bit soundtrack to, like... I, I know it does. I know it does so badly. And there, and there are two problems. I mean, one is finding the music. And there is some open, or, you know, Creative Commons music. The other problem is that Mono Game is... It doesn't do music. It's retarded. It'll only load WAV files. It won't load MP3s. It won't load OGS. And, uh... People have devised solutions, and I've tried some of them, and they mostly don't work very well. Sure. Um, and I tried an entirely different audio library, but then that one was more low level than I wanted. Like, you can just be like, how about you play a thing? It was like, no, you have to, like, load it up. And I don't know. You, there was lots of crazy steps, and then when it was done playing, it wanted to unload things. You had to load them again, and it was just a pain. So, I don't know. So, for now, I haven't worried about it. But, yes, a sweet 8-bit track would be amazing. Yeah, I feel like I've been on this level since the beginning of time. And I can't find fuel things. Yeah. And because there's no map. There's no map. <laughs> like, I guess they're not on the bottom in this one. I guess they're, like, up here. Like, I'm sure I've gone around, like, five times. Huh. I know I saw you miss a couple down things, but, like, downward things. They're, I mean, they're always on the bottom, so. Yeah, I remember this. Like, did, I th yeah, I think it was near here where you didn't go down a, a little... Like, yeah, what's down? Okay. Yeah, that's just a dead end. Uh -huh. The new map is good. I, I should. I should. I should know, I should know better after that. There's a bunch of stuff down there, but I don't know how to get there. Right. <laughs> the walls are closing in. Oh, fuck. You're almost dead. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, you I'm have not. no armor. Oh, do you want to take a chance and use an item you've never used before? Uh, by the, I can see your your points are blinking, which indicates to me that you're not collecting points right now. But I know that because I've played this game before. Ooh, Super shield. Super shield. That doesn't solve my problem. Ooh, you have, is that the faster firing rate? Ah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. So I've gotten to level two. <laughs> Yay. I think I got to level three once. I did do very well at your game, Ben. That's true. I've done better, but I've played before, so it's cheating. Um, For now... A, a, a tactic in roguelikes, there's like a mini game almost surrounding art, uh, potion or alien artifact use that I I don't know how to feel about, but it's the nature of the invisibility. I mean, you, you use them when you're safe. You know, you you test them out when you're safe and to try and discover as many as possible. Or you can buy the upgrade because I hate that game, so I have the option to get the upgrade to just reveal them all. There's also a funny game. So most roguelikes, uh, healing potions are actually the most common. And so you collect a, a good sample, and then you're like, okay, whichever color I've got the most of is probably the healing potion. And I thought that was even a worse game. And, I, and so I, I actually made it. Sure. Like, they're all equal chance, but there's different ways that you get healed. Or, you know, if you're invincible for a little while, that super shield, then you've effectively recovered your shields because you're not going to be taking damage during that time and other things like that. Anyway, I should ask you what you, I don't know, do you have any, any like final exciting thoughts? Or I've taken so many notes. Uh, First choice would always be a choice. We should have planet info pop-ups. That'll be fun. After leaving the planet, we should pull up your inventory because your weapon and armor pickups will be locked in boxes until you've completed the level. That'll be good. Alien artifacts need to tell you what they do when you first use them. Yeah. We, we probably want a mini-map. Uh, firing during tutorial doesn't work right. That's true. And increase enemy spawn cooldown when you first enter a planet. Yeah, so that you don't get... I feel like there's something that I hate about the UI, and I'm trying to figure out what it is. Like, it took me forever to actually, like, look up at the right place. You did the German language setting, Stephen. Yeah? <laughs> That's delightful. I mean, I uh, find that tribe stuff. Ooh. Get out of here, gnats. Those are my delicious upgrades. Oh, Jesus. 
it's also it's probably I don't know what to think about this. Gnats are so easy to to avoid that you've never collided with one, but they actually deal like next to no damage to collide with. Sure. There's oh, no I see. <laughs> you just like charge through them and not even care. I do that all the time. <laughs> but but I don't know. How would you discover that? I don't know. Maybe just I don't know. See, that's the sort of thing I wonder about. Like there are things like that that aren't told, and is that just what makes you better at the game you play and discover these things that... i mean i'd be tempted to throw up like numbers whenever you take damage because right now the difficulty of me actually paying attention to my own health combined with no specific feedback on damage like i don't even think there's like extra camera shake there is on oh is that okay yeah but... but i like i i i don't have any sense of really like i feel like running into the red guys is like the primary thing that murders me right and that's a fair evaluation that's good that's good but Oh! Um, yeah, it felt pretty good. Uh, <laughs> and you had almost no camera shake because they deal no damage. What is the... What is the right... Like, I assume that SHIELD stands for SHIELD in the Germans. Uh -huh. um, but I don't have any idea what that's actually talking about. Like, my shield's not down there. Oh, that's a naming your specific shield, which would be useful if you had an unusual shield if you wanted to be reminded what it does. Like, there, I mean, you can pick up shields that do crazy shit, like when your shield is below 50%, it'll do things, or, or when the shield takes damage, your sh got, shots are scattered. I don't know. I, so I thought to list all your equipped stuff down there. Um, honestly, you probably know what your shield does if you equipped it. I don't know. Anyway, it's there. Um, so the reason why I mentioned that is I actually feel like uh, I, I tend to look down when looking for health. Looking up is weird to me. Hmm. Um. Is that a convention in many games? That might be. I don't know. It, yeah, it might be. Um, the first thing I thought of was like Diablo. The health is in the bottom middle. The other thing is like... Or left and right, I It's guess. a little bit weird that all three of those bars, to one degree or another, represent my health, but there are three separate bars. Uh, it's also a little bit strange that they go from bottom to top. Oh, sure, sure, with the reverse direction that you're taking the damage in, basically. Y yes. Um, because shield damage happens first, so you. I wish I wish it was just one continuous bar down where it says shield, that like was color coded. Like this is my health section, this is my armor section, this is my shield section. Okay. Um, I think it's important to see what you are out of your max for purposes like items that replenish. Yeah. So you would I... just have it would be one bar, but with breaks where you don't actually have health. That seems not good either. Oh, the secret behind Sector Z's Omega Nine remains. A good I would. Idea. So this might be a terrible idea, but I would. I would compress them. I don't know. I would at least try this out. This is probably a terrible idea, and everyone's gonna be like, "Wait, is your friend actually a professional game designer? Because he, he seems like he's probably pretty shitty at everything in his life." <laughs> um, to which I say, "Screw you guys! I'm doing my best here." Jeez. Um, so if you do have Photoshop open and you want to show us, try to put it on top of where the game is because that's where the screen capture area is. Right. Um, I can see pretty much that whole canvas. Go for it. As long as it's not on the way bottom, it'll be fine. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, you're going to take a screenshot. Yeah. Stop it. Wait, can I? There. <laughs> uh, uh, so. Okay, so I, I can't. Think... The camera isn't capturing. Is it possible to scoot that stuff to the right? No, it's, it's okay. not. Um, That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, hold on. Sweet. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Can that's you perfect. can you see that? Uh okay, scoot it up like a little bit. Okay, cool. That's even that, perfecter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I would be tempted <gasps> Oh bananas. Um <laughs> full screen. Whatever. Totally not the point. Um Why does it do that? What stop it. Stop it, Photoshop. <laughs> I am your master. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so down here in like lower right hand corner, what I think that I would want to do is be like, ah, this, ah, as soon as I say this, I'm gonna cry a little bit in my heart. Um, <laughs> I kitten, stop meowing. Yeah, kitten. Freaking kittens. Freaking kittens. Well, she's not really a kitten, I guess. Oh, well then. Um, More like a cat. So I would be tempted to be like, hey. That's your health. Your your shield or whatever. Yeah. 
Um, Do you need to use the paint bar? Paint paint fill? Is that okay? Uh, blah, blah, blah. whatever. That's fine. So I'm just gonna say like that is probably someone's national flag, but it's also like <laughs> health and armor and shields. Uh -huh. And as it dropped. Ooh, a software update from Apple. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of those. Yeah. Um. So I hear. God, I'm trying to think about how to do this because you want your actual life to be like a solid, a solid thing. Right. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. So you can see the total. Although, does it matter that they take damage at different rates, or is that fine? I mean, only because I don't know if you noticed, but your armor said it takes less damage from collisions, and. I mean, that's that's a little awkward, but I, I feel like it is not right. terribly awkward. Okay. Um. I would be tempted to be like, well, I've taken some hull and some armor damage, and my shield has replenished, and the result is that, like, stop it. Um, I have a cat getting in my face. This is not the best time, cat. Ugh. Yeah, so I'd be tempted to say, like, well, that's, that's my health remaining, and then, like, y you know, um, have some... Than the unfold, right. right? Yeah, like that's how much shield is missing. Uh, and yeah, that yeah, seems yeah. kind of awkward. It does seem kind of awkward. Um, why is my life worse now? Um, I mean, is there another way? I mean, if we arrange them, maybe it's fine to just have breaks in the middle of the bar. <sighs> It's no, that looks terrible. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, that's going to be weird to read. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I can agree with the damage you're taking next being on. I just, I also wonder if maybe there could be something where, like, what if they were concentric circles or something so that you're like, this is the outside is my shield and this is yeah. how full that circle is. I don't know. There might be another d entirely different way to, to do the CY. Is there is there a reason why you desperately want health and armor to not be the same thing? A uh, hole and armor? Yeah. Um. Is there a de is there a reason why desperately? I mean, the only thing is, I feel like it it gives being able to separate that you you upgrade different ones in different ways and they do different things. And that so I agree. I agree. Like like armor upgrades are awesome, but what what are the health upgrades that you want to separate out? Like what are the whole things? There are whole upgrades that you can get with upgrade points, and there's also like items that affect different things, like wh like a shield when you take hull damage specifically, or when you take armor damage. So, I mean, things are just broken out to react in different ways. Um, there's armor that makes you take less hull damage just by having the armor equipped. So I don't know. I mean, there's there's I mean, I could remove those things, but I feel like it's maybe interesting, or is that just added complexity that's making things crazy? I don't yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like like you definitely want to leave the space for all of the various options you want to put in, but right. I feel like there are three numbers where there could be two. Like I think, I think concentric circles could be awesome. Like I don't know. You could even play with systems where you're like, look, this is a picture of your ship, and it goes from white to red, and when it turns fully red, it explodes or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then you know shields around it, and you could do interesting things where you could be like, well, this shield is your shield strength, and it dims, it takes damage, and recharges. Or you could be like. Well, you can get a second shield. It's a super shield. You could also change it so it was like, I don't know. You could say you've got three concentric rings of shields, and shield doesn't actually take damage. They just stop attacks a la Hearthstone. So the difference between shields and armor is that shields care about number of attacks, and armor cares about damage. Um, mm -hmm. But I, like, For some of the variety issues, I like. there's no reason why the upgrade couldn't just be like, your armors are 10 points stronger because you got this upgrade you know so yeah th some of those things would be wrapped into armor anyway yeah i just I, I look up and i'm like man that's a lot of numbers that represent my health and they're all bars and there's like a, a lot of things that are weird about the way it's currently mm -hmm, mm -hmm. currently figured out but I, I feel like there's an extra number in there that doesn't need to be sure it is it's right it's a lot to think about i mean how much do you i mean do you think a lot of these problems would be alleviated just by seeing numbers of damage i i was trying to i was wondering how much that would help I don't think so. Yeah. I want to be able to quickly glance at things and know... And know the, the status, right, right. I mean, that's what the UI is for. Yes. Well spotted. And I don't know if it was um, at all obvious, but the little ring around you, that halo on your ship that's white, as your shields go down, that becomes less opaque related to your shields. You know when you have no shields just by looking at your ship, in theory. Um, sure. 
but I don't know how. I don't know. I Why don't know. is my? Oh, it's because uh, I read something about the capture is making this all super weird. Huh? Huh? Sure. So, uh, I mean, I don't know if there would be other ways to hint at damage by looking at your ship. I mean, could we start putting black, you know, horribleness all over your ship or something like that? Uh, you could trail smoke. Yeah, or trailing smoke. If you've taken hull damage but not armor damage or something. Yeah. Again, assuming that we want to keep all three. I mean, it, it would be pretty easy to wrap the two into one. I think that's fair. Um. I might start by seeing how much UI improvements can take it, but... Yeah, that seems fair. Okay. Because, I mean, it's true, I, like, I haven't done as many things with the fact that there are three separate bars as, as I could, but I don't, I mean, I don't know, again, is that just needless complexity? Um, I don't know if it's needless. It's certainly complexity, and generally things are better if they're simplified. But... Well, uh... Which thing simplified? I mean, I, I think you would agree that, like, having weapons that do interesting things, I mean, is it neat yes. that you can have... Right. So, yeah, I would just try and fit the neatness into less systems. Sure, sure. Yay! One more time is turned into at least two more times. Maybe yes. Three more, three more times. Well... It's because I keep picking up upgrades, but I fail to go anywhere, and so I never get to see what any of them do. Sure. Like, I have upgraded my weapon exactly one time, and I've picked up, like, ten of them. Oh. That's too bad. But then, yeah, I always get murdered. Right. No, there's, there's like, bullets that bounce off of walls, and there's bullets that shoot bullets, which is the area of effect type stuff, and there's... Gee, that sounds exciting. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Can't... Now! Ah! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Those sorts of passages are where the stopping quickly is useful. But I, I kind of worry that they're the only time that's stopping useful. Oh, yeah, and you said that even even if it gets you murdered, you like the option of a go faster because you want it. I want it. Yeah, okay, that's fine. No, if you want to make a decision that, that kills you faster, I'm all for it. Absolutely, that's what roguelikes are for. <laughs> it's true. Where's the third fuel thing? Upgrade that makes... Oh, my God pen i've decided all oh, this whole like i have a package of them but i guess they're just horrible pens i mean i bought them at cvs so what do you want whoa jesus what happened uh like six of the shooty guys came down at once oh they were probably following you for a while <laughs> probably oh but you won no you've got armor that one it's the yeah. same boring armor it's just a little stronger I, well so, and for fixed. a while i was making it so that you know, the special things were rare, but I was like, well, they're all supposed to be equally powered, and the interesting ones are interesting, so in fact, there should be even more common. Yes. So that's definitely the route I've been going. Ah. I mean, yeah, weapons have always... There's all sorts of crazy weapons. It's easy to make new weapons. Is it? Yeah. You can, you can get... So, a fun thing, just due to all the, you know, class, object-oriented inheritance and all that, uh, enemies are pretty much the same as you. Uh, they just don't happen to equip uh, shields or armor. They just have a hole. Um, yep. But they equip weapons, and so the trailing gun that enemies have, you can get one of those, too. Sure. I added it. Like, in theory, any gun I make for a monster I can offer. There's the four-way shooting that those guys have. Just another gun. You can get that, too. But I never do! It's true. I like that. Not just it just makes my job easier too, because every time I make a it's yeah, I yep. make weapons. Oh, cool. Everyone has a weapon. Everyone happy. Object oriented. Yes. <laughs> it's been great for years, but it's still great. I still love it. Also I'm pretty sure fighting guys in general is a waste of my time. <laughs> but you'll never get the cool upgrade. Well but I pick up the cool upgrades and then I get murdered before I can equip them, so this is mm. See, so that's because, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Because you were saying at one time ah! you had the most the most exciting thing that happened to you at one time, you said, was when you were in a corridor and all these dudes were after you. Yes. But then you don't want to fight them. I don't know. Like, <laughs> when the level was just fixed scrolling left to right, that was easy to control. Um, 
but yes, things are definitely more chaotic now that you, you've got this free movement. That's I mean, fine. I could just play... I mean, the enemies don't have to keep coming. I could pre-place all the enemies and add more stationary things, that, you know, turrets that shoot you and stuff like that so that things are fixed. Maybe maybe that would be better. I don't know. No, that seems fine. I'm going to I'm going to equip a weapon then. Have you have you noticed that there are pickups that are sometimes yeah, like that one. Yes. Yeah. Um have you noticed that when I get caught in one of those shield barriers it not only damages me but also freezes me so that I get damaged multiple times? <laughs> uh yes. No it, it it has to turn on while you're like inside of it. Yeah, yeah. that happens a bit. Oh Ooh. my god. The cat tried something crazy and I think hurt herself. What are you doing, Mia? Are you upset? Is it food time? Maybe. Your clock says 1220, so my clock must say 320. Yes. Which means it is time to feed the cat. Well, maybe Wait. maybe when you die this time, it will be the last time. Did you get sure. four weapons? No, maybe. Uh, oh, shit. Slow. Hmm. Um... And actually, I need to change the wording. They both they slow the sh the speed and the uh, firing rate. Although that doesn't matter for most enemies. I worry the EMPs are bullshit. Yeah, I know. I know you love it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really a thing that you you feel? What if, what if that's an interesting feature because you can shoot bullets through there without having? To... But I can't. Well, not down. That's true. No. <laughs> You don't have that kind of gun yet. As a result, <laughs> argument defeated. Oh, fine. Wait, why am I... Why do I have all the fuel? Did I did I not go to the next sector? No, uh... I think you just found it really quick. You found two, and then you found one on, like, the next little divot. Jeez. Don't forget to equip a shitty MP. Don't equip it. It'll be your only weapon. You'll hate it forever. Wait, what? Oh, it just doesn't deal much damage? EM EMPs don't deal any damage. What? Why isn't that messaged to me, Ben? I don't know. It's not messaged to you that it deals damage. <laughs> ben. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. These are again the things that are obvious to me and, and So so here's a thing here's a thing that is true, I think, about like how roguelikes are punishing. Like They don't tell you anything. Well, they don't tell you anything. But also did I lose sound? I lost sound. Um, that's fine. I can do it myself. Beep, 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 I haven't beep. been hearing any of the noises. I was a little sad. I was hoping to hear everything, but... Oh. It's fine. Oh. Um, like, using a potion and having it do something weird and bad is like, well, okay, fine. Now I have to deal with this. Mm -hmm. But the idea of being like, I made a choice, like, I got a super cool thing, and I didn't know what it was, and so I want to try it out, and now, like, I'm completely hosed for an entire level, which I'm almost certainly going to lose. Right. Like, I mean, you might as well be like, oh, well, the special effect that you get from this gun is that you just, you lose the game. You immediately go back to the main menu. Right. And, like, that's that's no good, Ben. It's true. It, I mean, if you could equip two weapons, then maybe equipping it would be worth it. But I've actually wondered if EMP weapons are, are not, just not good in general. It seems likely-ish. Oh my god, that's a lot of guys. And enemies can have EMP bullets, but you're not going to find out and react to them differently because they all look the same. Sure. So, yeah. Those guys never have EMP shots. Oh, that's things. weird. Wait, so they... So all their... Oh, I see. It's, it's a little more controlled. I don't give... Um, like, m most enemies aren't allowed to have bouncing bullets, although some of them I allow to. Um... And the guys with trailing guns are allowed to have, with the trailing bullets, are allowed to have the bullets that shoot bullets, which makes for exciting trails. I, I, I wanted to leave that possibility in. But for the most part, I do restrict them. But they, but they use the same random generation. So as you get deeper in the levels, their, their weapons get uh, a little more murdery. Although it's a slower rate than yours. Yeah, that was the thing I was, I was definitely, like, I don't think they, actually, did, so did I disable EMP on them? I don't know. I'm just going to say remove EMP weapons because I, I I'm just going to do it. I think you've made a good choice today. Yeah. Entirely. No more. <clears throat> Give me my fuel. Give it to me. Oh, balls. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of them and they 
do the colors are different now? The colors are different now? The the enemies are firing different colored things at me. Oh yeah. I don't know what it means, but I don't like it. I don't know. It's probably just a different color. Colors. Colors. Bro. Colors are murdery. Colors are murdery. All right, all you pursuing things. How about we have a fight in space? <laughs> where I can't run into spiky things. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. You gotta find that last tribe stop. I know. I don't know any German. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know anyone who knows German or French? Ooh, the tribe stuff. I know one person who knows French. Yeah. My mom knows German. Oh, no. Fart. <laughs> that was murdery. That was murdery. Um, Gavin. Of Gavin. <laughs> we should be done for real. Don't start a new yep. game. I'm going I'm to start a game now. Oh, God. I, I opened open a PDB file. That's nonsense. <laughs> Why would you even try? Uh, well, thank you for doing a Let's Play. No problem. Thanks for sharing a game with me. That's true, and I have so many wonderful notes. <sighs> All right, cool. I'm going to get lunch, and are you going to play more games later? Like Maybe. I don't know. Right, Probably. Cool. We'll figure Probably. It out. Awesome. Later. Later.